In this tutorial, I want to do another ice calculation, but this time with a sort of approximation. If Kc is given to you and it's less than 10 to minus 3 magnitude, you can make an assumption and make uh, math easier. So Kc is given, but it's also written as Ka sometimes because it's description of the acid. Uh, CH3COOH is ethanoic acid, organic acid, and it's 1.8 times 10 to minus 5. So K is much smaller than 1, and you have more of reactants and less of products at equilibrium. Initially, they tell us you have 0.1 mole per decimeter cube of the acid, and the question is how much of products, uh, how much of species do you have at equilibrium? Uh, so the products should be zero and zero. One other thing you should notice is this is heterogeneous reaction. Everything is aqueous except H2O, which is liquid. So its concentration really doesn't change throughout the experiment before or after equilibrium. So you don't need to worry about it. And when you write the expression of Kc, it's products over reactant, and you have to ignore H2O. So now let's see what happens. Since the moles are one, coefficients are one to one to one, it's you remove minus x mole or mole per decimeter cube of the reactant, and you're going to produce x moles of each of the products, so plus x. So if you say what x is, you have answered sort of what are your products, and then simply in equilibrium for the acid is 0.1 take away x. Now let's see what we are going to do. So Kc is products. I write it in terms of the species, ethanoate times hydronium divided by ethanoic only, and there is no H2O involved. Now they tell us this is 1.8 times 10 to minus 5 is equal to now the products at equilibrium, you will have x mole of each species, so it's x times x, which is x squared, divided by 0.1 minus x. Now you all have Ti 84 and on, and you can do quadratic rather easily, but in IB, we don't want you to do that. We want you to come up with the assumption or approximation. And you have to write it to say why you are simplifying this. Since Kc is much smaller than 1, that's how you should phrase it, or words of that fashion, it's much smaller than 1. What you can assume, which is true, is 0.1 take away x is really equal to 0.1. x is such a small number after your calculations that when you subtract it, it's the same number. If you do that, life becomes easier, math is easier. 1.8 times 10 to minus 5 simply becomes x squared divided by 0.1. There is no more subtraction of x. Now, if you solve for x, it's simply square root of 0.1 multiplied by 1.8 times 10 to minus 5. And if you plug it into your calculator, it's 1.34 times 10 to minus 3. That's your x. Now, if you don't trust the approximation, 0.1, take away this number from, it's approximately, again, 0.1. It's 0 0.099, so you end up the same number. So now concentration of your acid at equilibrium is still give and take 0.1. So it's 0 0.099, concentration of your CH3COO at equilibrium is equal to concentration of hydronium, and it's 1.34 times 10 to minus 3 mole per decimeter cube. Uh, learn this because soon we are about to walk into acids and bases, and these are our typical calculations of weak acids and weak bases. So if Kc is much smaller than 1, 10 to minus 3 or smaller than that, you can make an assumption and subtraction of a number becomes the number itself because x is very minute.